morning from here. Um, I was uh, just checking on my staff over at, in California to make sure all the things are getting done that uh, I'm not there to do. And um, I, I, I know I wanted to hop on a little bit early here because uh, this is an important call for us. We both had a great call last night. And thank you for staying up kind of late to, to catch up with me. And, um, yeah, this is um, exciting, exciting times. I mean, I've, I've, I've been through some exciting times in my life, you know, giving my son being born. That's an exciting time. My, my most, my recent uh, marriage with my wife, you know, the most exciting time. But for the last three and a half years, I can't wait to get out of bed. I can't wait to um, share what we're doing and um, help somebody today and see who's see who can um, who can get their uh, dreams on the track where they can start fulfilling what they wanted to do and get their bills out of the way or um, get a team off the ground or something to the effect where there's not a day where someone doesn't say, um, what is it that your opportunity can do different than any, than anything out there? And um, I've been I've been fortunate to be able to say that my opportunity, unlike anything out there, um, you become 100% active when you join. You're active for life. Um, your opportunity is willable. It's 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 going to pass on to your family when you pass away. And um, just like an insurance agent, I've had to call. Um, I've had to call. Um, from the families that, uh, you know, yes, my husband has passed away or um, whatever, whatever the case has done, happened. And then um, and every single one of those families, I'm not kidding you guys, has asked me to manage their account for them with tens of thousands, uh, some of them worth $150,000, $200,000. And they said, could you please, I don't want this right now, um, one of them, one of them, just recently, you know, said, "Just give me three thousand a month, and their account will do that for the next many, many years." And um, before I even looked at their account, because it was it was it was one of my closest friends early on Bit Club Network, and uh, he passed away recently, and he he never saw his his, son, his daughter born, and um, I already had committed to three thousand a month. I said, you know, what the money that he um, originally helped me believe that I can create I already had put his wife on a tab and my wife said 100% when we're at the funeral no matter what we'll subsidize their income by 3000 a month and then all of a sudden she says uh, I see the I, I see the account but I don't understand it and can you explain to me and I said yeah your account's got x amount of dollars it'll pay you out x amount for the rest of pretty much the historic life of what we're doing and tears and joy and everything else it's happened. We built a system that's friends and family first. And um, we've um, we went down the road six times so far with six different billionaires, each one of them trying to buy us. And I tell the story many times because it's important that you know that Big Club has done way more beyond the call of duty to every person who's ever joined it including the person for the last, I don't know, seven to 10 months, right? And um, we'll continue doing it no matter how much you make. We're going to continue paying because we don't determine who gets paid what. The shares get paid every day and your shares are subject to grow with the network effect of Bitcoin and any other crypto that you mine with us. And so what, what we try to bring to comfort to those who are new who are uninitiated to what we're, we're about. Um, we're always about truth and transparency. Um, we, we like evidence. We don't like hear his story. We like to hear actual facts. And in the past, people always say, well, if you tell a good story, you can make a sale. We know that's true. But in our industry, if you educate the person, you can protect them from any any uh, malice that someone else will have against them. Also, if you teach them how to defend what we're teaching, even if they don't join, they won't get duped into something else later. And just knowing the right questions to ask. We know the questions to ask, and most people never ask the right question. Never. 
And so we're always here to teach you guys that and um, give you guys updates on what we're doing. Um, currently, right now, um, we're going through a huge uh, shift from the Bit Club space. Um, we've never we've never had to um, basically KYC ourselves, okay? Um, but we're too big now, and our management, our original management controller and team, they're they're smart enough to know that Bit Club Network is too big to manage the way it is. The current status, we figured we need to do something something different. We figured that we have to um, make some changes, dr drastic ones, um, when it comes to us thinking that we can still control this multi-billion dollar deal as a mom and pop oper op operation. Although we are very sophisticated in our software and our security is second to none, um, uh, our customer service has, has challenges and exceptional re reviews on different parts of the world. But what we've really grown to understand is that we have to make sure that the ship is always protected. And since we've done our, our life three and a half years, we've given us blood and sweat and tears to make sure this thing would, would sail on way past any of us. Um, we've got a new attorney that's on board. I'll disclose his name pretty soon here. Uh, but... Um, he's kind of famous for what he's done. Yeah. And, um, what? <laughs> Guys, please shut your microphone out. Joe, I'm going to mute everybody. Please unmute yourself again. Thank you. Thank you. So, yes, in, in the interim, all things are equal. Everything's going the same. We're just accelerating bigger and bigger and bigger. Um, and we're very conscious about the money we take from people. We don't just randomly take money. We've, uh, those of you who've been here a few months or uh, longer know that we won't just grab your money and take it because we can. We have one of the hottest opportunities in the industry right now. And if we just did a couple of tweaks in marketing, we can do a half a billion dollars a month. And it's very easy for us to do because we just did 202 million without telling anybody that you could not. It just went to 202 million dollars, and that was with no marketing, no new advertisement, nothing special. We just allowed people to buy the machines that they, they wanted to buy, and that's the clip that we're at now. Going into the end of the month, first part of next year, we will probably have a little small setbacks where we limit the daily sales to two million a day or 3 million, depending on uh, the availability of the next batch of the machines. But if you were to go to Bitmain, um, you can't go to Bitfury and see what they're, what they're. For any reasons, they control the market. Um, nobody wants to flood the market with too much machines. Um, nobody wants to make sure that, um, that we all have a fair playing chance, but at the same time, you deserve to be here because you were here before everybody else. Just because you have a billion dollars doesn't mean you, you can join our this industry. And that's what I always that's what the that's what the uninitiated always says. Well, what if Bill Gates wants to mine Bitcoin? So what? Bill Gates can't go mine Bitcoin if he wants to. He can't buy the machines. All the money in the world doesn't allow you to go buy all the machines because there comes a there comes a window where why am I mining if it doesn't cost me? The cost effect does not justify the future spending today. Why would I do it? So they like profit, and billionaires are very smart people. Um, if you if you have, have understood any of these billionaires, um, they like profit. They don't do things just because a whims a whimsical uh, uh, feeling inside them. I'm just going to do this just to spite all the little all the little miners. No, they don't do that. Okay, we're heavily invested, uh, maybe three times or four times more than Sir Richard Branson and his team, and um, we know. We know who, who and what's involved here. Um, we have um, individually, collectively built a second to none uh, cryptocurrency mining farms. And we're just getting started. And so right now we have 
uh, momentum on our side. We've already prepaid for over two hundred thirty thirty million dollars worth of machines. I think we just ordered the sixty or seventy million, but the ones that are paid for, they're just being put on right now. And so you can actually go to Big Club, BigClubPool.com and see that we just went up almost sixty petahash, and from four from three hundreds mid three hundreds to a four hundred plus um, right now. And by the end of the month, we should have five hundred. And by the first part of the year, we'll have over a thousand. And going into February, March, we should have twelve hundred petahash. And this is only going to get bigger. Okay. And one thing for sure, those of you who had who have real appreciation for actual earnings, not figment of imaginations. <laughs> um, I mean, Big Club Network had some fairy dust to keep it in business. But we don't sprinkle fairy dust on conversations. We don't talk about unicorns, and we're not we're not in the same place where giants still roam the earth. We're in a reality place where you buy equipment, you pay electricity, you pay people to to maintain this operation, you pay security, you build actual infrastructure, you spend the money that people give you, and then you print new fresh money, and that's what we're in. This is what we're about. And you can document everything we've say. Everybody who has had a chance to physically go to our Iceland facilities, they're never the same. They are never the same. But you can go from the comfort of your home and watch all the information and see that we've actually been there. That I physically am there doing selfies and headshots. And um, that's not enough. On the next, on the next, on the next window. Put your money together and hop on a plane and go visit it like many hundreds of people have done around the world. And the reason we are this, this Goliath today is because only 500 people uh, believed that this, this would, when they went there, 220, 230 people went there and they came back and spread the word around the world. <laughs> and um, it also has to do with the consciousness of the, pe of the people around the world who are listening to many different windows of Bitcoin conversation. And the good thing about it is you can, you can choose what you're listening to. And so we've, um, we've tried to give as much defense and offense opportunity um, conversations because we want you, yes, we want you to know everything we're doing, but we also want you to know what you should ask if somebody offers you something in the crypto space. Last night at uh, one o'clock in the morning, I finished one of my meetings here in Manila. I met a top earner and a top leader in a company who represents literally a million members globally. And he sat there for two hours with me and was absolutely in awe, in awe of the size of his company and the earnings in comparison to our size of our company, our time frame, and our earnings. This guy has been building a company for uh, over a decade. And when he realized that his research is, and he says, Joe, are, are you telling me you're doing the actual Bitcoin? I said, what do you mean? Is there another? And he says, well, there's a, there's a lot of things that have perpetrated themselves to be better than Bitcoin. And, and, and I said, okay, well, we're mining the actual Bitcoin of the blockchain. And I assure you, this is documentable. And he says, okay, I just want to make sure we're in the right conversation because I don't want to hear about a new coin that's going to take over the market. That's going to make Bitcoin smaller. The crypto market just hit half a trillion dollars. Half a trillion dollars. When I got started, the combined market was less than 10 billion. We're talking about 3.5 billion just for, just for Bitcoin and I think the crypto market itself um, was non-existent. It was nothing. And today it's a half a trillion dollars. In a year, it'll be a trillion five. And if it's a trillion five, you're looking at a 50000 to to $100,000 Bitcoin. And so I don't know what your patience are, what your, what your uh, bandwidth is on earning money. But I know that I'd rather have my money making me multiple Bitcoins than me having a Bitcoin or two Bitcoins growing themselves. And so um, the conversation has changed quite a bit for us. And I tell a lot of my leaders that when someone says they want to mine or buy a Bitcoin, um, they should at least buy enough 
uh, equipment valued at a Bitcoin. And if they want to buy a Bitcoin, great, buy a Bitcoin and look at it. But at least buy enough equipment of the value of a Bitcoin today to mine multiple Bitcoins every year. And so uh, today, if you take a size of a price of a Bitcoin, it's 17,000, right? Or 16,000. And that literally is around four founders in BitClub Network, almost five, okay? And if you take the four or five founders, your first year, you're going to get four or five Bitcoins. I mean, where in the industry is someone saying such a thing? And I can do this a month. Uh, I can go this three, six months ago because you have to go at least three to six months behind to look forward because the last two or three months, or they're not going to verify that. You have to go back just a little bit further to see where the Bitcoin uh, earnings start catching up to each other. And um, because repurchases play a huge role in your future earnings. Um, and the, the price of Bitcoin has a lot to do with the conversation, but it has nothing to do with the size of the market. You have to make sure that the, that the difficulty market is, is not growing faster than everybody else, that the, the pool market, the pools are not, are not out exceeding everybody. And since we've prepaid, we've had a few months delay on, on our growth. But right now, we're at 4.7% of the global platform in the last 24 hours. In the last four days is how it's measured. We're still 4.2% of the world supply. And that's only at 400 petahash. Wait till we're over 1,200 petahash. And watch our opportunity become one of the opportunities that people will beg you to join me. Today, you're asking people, would you join my opportunity? Would you? You're pitching. In a few months, for sure a year from now, people will do what they do to me. They just tell me, here's how much I have. Where can you put me at? And they do it to my friends all over the world. They're going to do it to you guys alike. I promise you guys, the success that you're tasting today, it is nothing in comparison to the next three to six months of favorable opportunity on your side and people literally asking and begging you to work with them. And today you can pick and choose, pick and choose who you work with today. Cause at Bitcoin network, we all go to, we, we go on vacation together and we do big events together around the world. And if you, you don't like somebody don't work, don't call them about this opportunity. If you, if, if you have a bad person and, and, and he, he or she, um, uh, has has potential, but yet is a bad person. Take your pick, because if they're a bad person and they they don't have a lot of money, I promise you they're going to be a worse person when they have a, when they have a lot of money. We've seen this already. We've seen people go bad, and um, they're making huge money with us, and all of a sudden they turn into this uh, diva. They turn into this um, I'm unapproachable no more, and. You have to ask me permission to take a picture with me and these kind of things. And I'll choose what event I show up at. Even though my entire network is there, I'll determine if I'm going to be there or not. This is crazy. These people forgot where they came from. They forgot the humility that we've been teaching from the very beginning, our humble, humble beginnings. We're not changed. We're the same guys. And all we're trying to do today is help other people realize that um, – we're here to stay. We're getting bigger and bigger with, with size. There's always growing pains. We are a very large child. <laughs> okay. um, we're a smart child, just to be honest, okay, to, to keep it very simple. We're, we're a very, very, very intelligent child that's still growing into its teenage years. But we are a little bit ahead of the curve. When it comes to our business strategy, <laughs> I know it's funny, but I have to explain it that way because, uh, you know, we're having pains. We're, we're going to bed and our knees are hurting because we're growing right now. <laughs> um, so I, I'm, uh, I, I got some updates, a couple of them. And I know this is recorded, so it's probably going to go in viral. You're going to hear about it anyways later. So I'm going to tell you one of the power plants that we're, 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 we're doing in Montana right now. Um, has already been properly vetted and contracted for us. 
And it has the, the potential to house 1,400 petahash at the current size of it today. I believe the first 500 petahash will be there that we're going to stick in there by uh, January. And uh, it's it's scalable for 3,000 uh, petahash worth of uh, energy. And uh, very, very strong um, uh, location owned by a very wealthy family. Uh, don't need the money, but love crypto. This is another billionaire who doesn't need the money, but loves the opportunity and loves what we're doing. And so we've locked arms with that group. Um, we have a full think tank being developed today where we'll be giving um, our, our members private access early on to things like um, a company like Bank of the Future by Simon Dixon. And Simon Dixon has put in so far, 46,000 accredited investors. Uh, you have to go through an accreditation to get be part of uh, Bank to the Future. But here's the cool part about it. These guys spend lots and lots of money and energy to properly vet out a future coin that will have a feature that is worth you putting some small money into. Um, and we want to give you guys chances like that to know but to know for sure that this is not a pump and dump deal um, because there is a lot of opportunity out there, but you want to be, you want to be very careful. And you also want to be careful in the trading of exchanging your Bitcoins for other small coins that can lose half their value very quickly. And Bitcoin can literally go up 50%. And I say this from experience. Okay. My friends told me, Listen, you need to make sure you have a lot of Bitcoin cash. I already had a lot of Bitcoin cash. They said, they said you need to buy more. And these are people that are, are, are the gambler traders, right? And they're very addicted to these movements of pennies and dollars. I'm not. I don't get swayed by that stuff. But I did get swayed into buying some, some, some Bitcoin cash. I bought 580 shares of that. And then um, uh, Bitcoin, oh, no, I'm sorry, Bitcoin cash, I bought 84 shares, and then I bought uh, 560 or 80 shares worth of Bitcoin gold. And so at the, at the time when I did it, it was 25 Bitcoin worth of, of, um, of money, okay, uh, dollars. And Bitcoin took a rally and nobody saw, and it went up over $5,000. And so my, 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 six, my 15, uh, 25 Bitcoin became almost 17 Bitcoin. And so yesterday, I just bit the bullet and licked my wounds and sold it all. Because I learned my lesson about the holding or the creation of Bitcoin and its potential massive growth for the future. So yes, I'm nine Bitcoins down, but my account for dollar for dollar is worth more and I'm okay with that. But I know, I know not to be, I know to be careful next time. Um, because I have a lot I can move a lot. Most people move less than a Bitcoin. And I'm, I was moving 25 Bitcoins thinking, no big deal, right? Well, that was a big deal. <laughs> and so um, we're very careful when it comes to trades and comes to um, uh, the open market because the open market will hand you your lunch. And um, they won't even say thank you, okay? So you have to be very, very careful um, when you're doing any open trades because you can have an open wound that might not heal for a long time. And so we're into mining because mining is the safest place for you and I to get some Bitcoins and other coins. Why? Because all cryptocurrencies are mined first in creation. The second is they go to a trader or an exchange. The third, they're paid to somebody who earned it via labor. So there's technically three ways to get Bitcoins. You work for it. You buy it from somebody who mined it. I choose to go from the mining side because since the last three and a half years, I've seen the mining side be the most profitable way for you and I as average intelligent individuals who make decisions upon real evidence, real truth, uh, things that you can confirm. And, and then you say, okay, here's my money. And then we partner up and we buy equipment and then you get a daily dividend. You guys are new to this uh, daily dividend, but I'm telling you right now, 
when it when it goes a year or two or three years from now, you're going to be so excited. And you're also going to have a little bit of a pain in your stomach. And a little bit of pain is going to say, God, what if I would have did just a little bit more? What if I would have stayed up a little bit longer? What if I would have called a little bit more people? What if I would have just worked a little bit more? You're going to have that little pain, I promise you. And there's no lotion and potion. There's no cream out there that's going to make the pain of I could have did more. I could have I could have earned more. I could have had more when Bitcoin went to a million dollars. So um, I hear um, uh, lots of things going on in the world out there. And we travel the world and we hear it in many, many languages, but it's all the same. Where can I put my money and my money be protected as much as I'm protecting it myself? And I can tell you guys with the straight look in your face, Ricardo sat in front of my desk face to face, chair to chair with me. I don't flinch when it comes to, are we going to be here for years? I don't play. I don't have any reserves about where we're going except to the top of the pie chart. And um, I want you guys to feel the same confidence. I want you guys to have the same assurance when you talk to people. Because when a person has some, even small reservations, people feel it. People feel the reservations. They feel when you're not sure of yourself, when you're, um, when you didn't take the time to learn about your opportunity. When a question is asked, Say it's a great question. Don't answer it. Don't be an expert this early. Um, Ricardo, he studied. So use Ricardo, use me. Um, three-way three way is a very powerful. These Zooms are incredibly powerful tools. Um, but try not to answer your friend's question. Always, it, it's okay to use network marketing jargon and say, that is a great question, Susie. Uh, I, I, I can get you the answer. I, I, I'm not sure of the answer myself, but I can get you the answer. I know somebody who has about 100% of the information that you need. And and and, and, and write it down. And, and don't leave it that way. Get Susie's question answered. And if you do, you'll make a friend, and a friend will, will have a higher confidence level to be part of your business. So, Ricardo, do you have any questions for me? Yeah, I'm just going to voice, you know, be the voice of many people here for a minute with you, Joe, that, you know, the, the common questions that we get in the field that as we work the company, as people go on the internet and they gather information and then they get lost in sound bites and they form opinions. Um, so I wanted you to elaborate, first of all, uh, give us a little bit of a correlation. You know, when people go to Bitcoin mining, they always end up, you know, discovering what Genesis is. I wanted you to kind of bring us up to date on your relationship with that company. And then sure. also talk about your security team and some of the members, um, because I, I feel that that's important also, you know, to address. Yep. Okay. So first, first of all, uh, security. Um, if you were to look at, this, at, at, at the pools at the uh, Iceland facility, you'll see there's many pools that are actually there. Uh, Big Club is one of the highest secured pools there where we've actually, um, or the default pool, if we were to be a hack in the network, um, most of the miners would land into our pool. Their energy would shift into our pool since we are, we are not just... Um, 10 or 20 times stronger than most most security in the pools, but we're upward of 100 times stronger in security than most of the mining pools out there. Most of the mining pools, um, they spend a lot of money on the equipment, on the maintenance and the protection, but we as a, as, as a uh, team feel more responsible to protect the Bitcoins and we help you acquire. Um, as much as we protect the Bitcoins that we acquire daily ourselves for the machines uh, being protected. So we've spent the money before it was, it was, it was uh, even asked of us. We asked for, can we, is there another level of security? Can we spend that money now? Can we, can we go five or 10 times stronger? And, that, and the answer was always yes. Um, and we were properly vetted out by our team. We have a team of experts that are, 
uh, literally second to none programmers, and um, they're they're the white hat the white hat hackers. So they protect uh, networks like ours, and we've spent um, since we've started we've spent hundreds of thousands of dollars um, paying hackers to attack our system um, without us knowing that they were trying to do it. And um, it's funny because one of the times we forgot they were going to do it <laughs> and they waited. And uh, when we thought we, we were, um, they thought we were vulnerable. They came after us and uh, within a couple of days, all was well. And the best part is that every time somebody thinks something creative about what our system is, um, they, uh, they make us stronger. Uh, there's a company out there called OneCoin. And uh, l earlier this year, we recruited a handful of very, very, very top earners there. And um, these guys had publicly renounced the company. And um, they wanted to find a home for the people that they brought to OneCoin. And when they came to us, we were a little leery about the guys that would promote a scam. And then we found out that they thought it was real because <laughs> they were still defending it. <laughs> and we're like, okay, you guys just don't understand. So let's teach you guys this. And when they understood the truth, their eyes were wide open and they literally said, we want to be all in with you guys. The company, OneCoin, hired some team of hackers to go after Bitcoin Network website. And what they did was, they used the username and passwords to everybody in OneCoin, the entire hundreds of thousands of database. They used their database to go onto our system and try to sign into BitClub Network. And our system, just for you to know, is, is tracking the minute you sign in, which pages you're looking at, which IP address you're coming from. It's checking how many times you've changed your password how many times you've used your, your, your email, if it's changed multiple times within certain periods of times, have you asked for your username to be changed? Are any of these information, it's running flags. And if it goes through green flags, nothing's no, no challenges. But if it finds any red flags, you will see your site kind of sometimes kick you out when you're signing up. You think, why did it do that? Because it's double checking your site. It actually was checking your IP to make sure you had did this from from a different country or something. And all of a sudden it looks at it and says, um, hold up. I just did it a few minutes ago. My site readjusted because I was on a VPN. And when I took the VPN off, the web page went up and it went back down and it went back up again. And all it did was it went through the cycle to see if I'm going to have flares onto the system. And we do this and we, we protected the system. We, unlike other companies, unlike other opportunities out there, you tell me of an opportunity that has liquid Bitcoin inside it and the members leave more than $100, $100 million in the back office. Tell me where that's at. Where does people that do an opportunity and leave over $100 million in the back office? We have people that have $5 million worth of Bitcoin in their back office. And you know what they say? If anything happens to me, I know this is going to be here. If something happens to me, I know this is going to be okay. And that's because they've been here long enough to been through our hacks, and they and we're always aware. You can look at our history. We'll tell you when we're being attacked and how long it took us and what happens. And um, so that's number one, security. And I hope I, hope I didn't take too much time there. Um, number two, relationships. So... The number one relationship we have is with Bitmain. They're the world's largest Bitcoin mining manufacturer and the world's largest pool for Bitcoin mining. They adopted us over three years ago, and Yoshi Goda is the Bitmain warranty owner. He literally speaks at our events on our behalf. He literally has told members in Japan, Korea, Indonesia, India, um, Russia as recently, and Germany. And he tells them the belief he has in Big Club Network, the um, because he does manage our, our mining for our, 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 cool, our pool, he tells you how real it really is. And he also tells you that we are too big to fail for the industry. 
What does that mean? We're too big to fail. They have to keep supplying us the equipment in order to keep the integrity of the, of the market itself. Because the Chinese dominate a huge portion of the market and they keep buying more and so do we. We just outpaced the purchasing orders because of Bitfury and Bitmain. So now our second relationship, Bitfury. Um, Bitfury started January, December of 2015, January of 2016. Uh, we got our first delivery of equipment. It was 17 and a half million worth of, of their machines. And uh, back then, Bitcoin was very, machines were very expensive. And, um, and so we had a certain amount of equipment uh, that was ours. And it's on the physical blockchain when you look at it through the pools. And um, then the same month, Ethereum started taking a lot of, a lot of attention away from other coins, um, well, from Bitcoin itself, combination. And uh, the new altcoin era was born in 2016 at a, high, uh, at a height of the market. There was other coins prior, but nothing like 2016. And uh, Genesis Mining at the time had the lead uh, opportunity in the Ethereum equipment space. And they were going through a transition where they lacked funding. And we said, hey, can we get involved with you guys? Can we do some kind of cooperative? And we flew to Germany, me, Russ, and Matt, and we sat down with Catalin, our programmer, and we shared the vision of what we're doing. And these guys looked at us crazy. They said, what do you mean? You guys are going to share all the money you make with all the people? And we're like, well, it's their money. And they're like, you just said you're going to share all the money with all the people. And we're like, yeah, we're going to share all the money that comes in with everybody. And they were like, that doesn't make sense. Where does that, where does it financially make sense at? So we explained how the compensation worked and how the bit, the plan worked. And they were like, whoa, that sounds like it could actually work. And we're like, it's been working. <laughs> and they were like, okay, um, we can, we, we're buying this much machines. Can you guys match it? We're like, absolutely. They're like, you guys have that much Bitcoin ready to buy? And we're like, yeah. They're like, okay. So we bought our first batch. And that sold out in in, 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 in less than um, less than one hour for Bit Club Network. It was a million. It was one thousand shares, a thousand dollars, million dollars. So it sold out in an hour. A few weeks later, we bought another uh, another five million. That sold out in like four hours. And uh, and ever since that relationship was started, we have bought two to three times more equipment than they're buying. And today, they pretty much only work for us. They have no time to build their current database to market any new new clients. We are the client. We are the relationship. We own all these machines, and we're talking at least $200 million worth of equipment that is co-managed with Genesis Mining and Big Club Network. And we have four facilities to do that in, and multiple in Iceland, one in uh, undisclosed area in Europe and a huge facility in China that I'll be going there probably January to go see. And I'll bring back footage. And then once it's in full swing, we'll do a tour. And this is in a particular part of China where the government has completely let loose of a an area commercially spent hundreds of millions of dollars in infrastructure. And it was dead zone. It was, um, it was, it was, it's a left city. And we had 13 buildings there with um, uh, more than 10 acres of space. The government of China, we've hired already 500 employees now. We started with 50. We went to 200. We went to 300. We're at 500 employees right now working seven days a week around the clock. And we are putting in... 40, $50 million a month worth of equipment into this to make ourselves one of the world's largest GPUs. We see GPU as uh, a potential future. Um, and uh, we, we understand that GPU can run um, artificial intelligence. It can actually run medical research. It can actually do uh, many, 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 many powerful things like Amazon 
is uh, Amazon owns one of the largest data centers in the world. Amazon actually doesn't um, um, operate any of its own entity shipping. It actually has all these people, just like Uber, just like, uh, um, you know, uh, um, uh, what's the housing, what's the, what's the house company that you can rent a house, but they don't own any houses? What do they call that? Um, oh, man. My brain's my brain's still sleeping. Airbnb, the, the Airbnb. 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 There you go. Um, the the ultimate goal for Big Club Network is to just to be the operators, managers of people's equipment around the world. And we don't own anything. You guys do. And all we want to do is make sure that this thing runs at an optimal level. We've made all the relationships to keep this thing at a pace that nobody in the industry is going to catch us. It doesn't matter if they have 5 or $10 billion. It doesn't matter. There's no equipment for them to buy. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> okay. I mean, um, and so what they can buy will never, will never exceed what we have and will never catch up to what we're doing. And um, we'll be, we're, we're in a very special place right now because we don't have to be, um, you know, uh, show offs. We just have to be here long enough to watch it happen, and um, and so I hope that answers both those two questions. Okay, yeah, and and, uh, and um, is is are you still working with Genesis? I mean, I, are they still putting together? Data Absolutely. Stuff? Okay. Marcos Marcos Stratton was just with us in Korea. He saw fifty five hundred members of Big Club Network, um, over two hundred from around the world. Well, over 300, we had 200 people fly in from Japan just for the event. 200 people. Uh, basically, a, a full airplane was booked with our members on it. I wish we could have had pictures of that. Maybe they'll show up very soon. But this was an entire plane full of Japanese flying into Korea. And um, uh, then we had people there representing Europe and Africa and all over the world, maybe 20 countries. But most important, we had 5,000 plus Koreans, all chanting the same sound, bit club, bit club, bit club. The tears in the audience for the stories of the of the farmer who sold his his uh, his his his, his, um, his cows to join opportunity, and the opportunity went belly up, and he lost almost his farm. And then Bit Club Network came along the corner, and within a year and a half, he's a multimillionaire. The story of the of the gentleman who sold his Mercedes Benz and um, promised his wife he would buy a new one in a year. He had no money. He had did a few scams. He had did a few things, and he was broke. And so he sold his Mercedes. Got involved in Big Club Network. Last month he made three hundred sixty thousand. He's a multimillionaire in one year. So. The stories go on and on and on, and they're unlike anything in the industry you're going to see. We we pay more than the scams do. It's just paid differently. That's all. Um, and we and you know we always why would you join a scam for? It's only for three months. It's only for six months. Why would you do that? Why don't you just build an organization, get paid for helping people win? We are from the win-win standpoint. If it doesn't work for me, why would I? Why, why would I let? Why would I sell it to you? That's one of my other subjects: GPUs. When I tell people to buy GPUs, I have put my my money where my mouth is. I will own probably more GPUs than any individual in Big Club Network. To other people, find out what I did. Okay, um, I own over three hundred GPUs. That's 300,000 worth of GPU. Now, um, that probably pays me a 25,000 total dividend per month, okay? But it has made me all of my money back already in the last year and change. When I say that is, I had bought a few of the GPUs when we started mining Ethereum, and each one of those has made about 20 grand a pop. So the early small amount of accounts paid for my whole my whole. 300,000 worth of accounts. And now I get a dividend of 25 grand a month on my money. 
Now, unfortunately, I can't survive over 25,000. My network is too big. My travel is too much. But it's pretty good dent into my lifestyle. <laughs> <laughs> um, anyways, I hope that wasn't recorded. I'm just kidding. No, no, that was good, Joe. Listen, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna ask you a few more questions, okay? These are sure. kind of you know the, the the field reaction, you know the daily the daily thing. But this is so good uh, tonight. Um, talk about the uh, the restriction that we have for the U.S. citizen. Why that statement is there. And uh, I know I have a version of it that I discussed with you. I want everyone to hear from you. Yeah, I've um, I've I was the first guy to challenge the process of our 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 wave, and after dealing with all of the attorneys and all the smart mind crypto guys, they said the best thing you can do is put that policy up on your site to have plausible deniability. I get it. But I'm a networker, guys. I care about my friends and my family in America. And, um, you know, uh, knowing that you can actually uh, build the business internationally allowed us to build the business locally. Um, should you have to do a few things later on to protect your money? I would say yes. I would say yes. But it's good for you to do this. Because we're not going to give you a 1099, so you have to be your manager of your own money. If you uh, make money offshore, um, you can Google this information. We're going to give you some guidelines later. Um, but um, that is there to protect you. It is there to make sure your, your business doesn't go through an unnecessary scrutiny. It isn't, it's there to make sure that uh, a hater who is related to some district attorney doesn't send a dog after us to see if there's anything they can smell. Because at the end of the day, when you look at our industry, it's unregulated. Um, they can't figure out how to box up Bitcoin or cryptocurrency alike. How do you tax it? We can't figure it out. There's no codes to do that. And we don't want to be the first one they figure out how to do it with. So we put the soft block IP address on the website on purpose. That is there to let people know that the that the United States is not friendly to Bitcoin or network marketing. And that being said, we are private invitation opportunity only. If you are invited to BitClub Network and you have a free website and you decide to upgrade your account, you are grandfathered into our system. That's pretty much all I can say on that. Um, I don't know exactly when the rules will get even harder or or they'll get looser um i was i was uh even even talking about um buying the u.s network for big club network and creating a subdivision in america just for the purpose of it and everybody said it's probably not worth it yet but maybe in the future but um since everybody in the u.s is in my downline anyways i was going to sub it off as a a, a, a division of Big Club Network mining. Since Big Club Network is not an actual entity that someone could attack, um, it's a Bitcoin mining facility. It's it's a uh, security system. It is a reward system for building a network. So it has all these different layers within each other. And today, um, we have an attorney attached to our company now, and there's an umbrella being built for Big Club Network as we speak right now. And you'll hear about this in the upcoming weeks and months that Big Club Network is going to have a, um, a parent company. Um, it's still owned by everything's the same. It's just going to have a layer that takes care of the marketing side because we have outgrown the current abilities of our members that have helped build what we have today. So our current infrastructure is very solid. But tell me what company that's doing a billion dollars in sales doesn't have 100 employees, okay? Only Big Club. Big Club doesn't have 100 employees. Um, well, we have 500 employees in China, but they're not managing anything. They're building our data center. Uh, we have a dozen, a dozen customer service and a, and a handful of dedicated programmers and a team of 25 that work for them. 
but we're less than 50 people managing a multi-billion dollar deal. So we knew and our team was 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 humble enough to say, this is too big for me now. I need help. And so we sought out an attorney. We sought out a team. We're about to launch a, um, a country manager for Korea, a country manager for Japan, a country manager for Europe. And if all things go well, maybe we'll get a country manager in America. I don't know. Um, but as right now, um, those who are in the system are grandfathered into our program, period. Um, uh, just so you know, Joe, I, I don't want the country manager job, okay? <laughs> I thought about you. I no. thought about you. No, I don't want Believe it. Believe me, I thought about you. You and I have done this before, so I thought about you. <laughs> I know. Listen, uh, I, um, I, I, I want to ask you another question before I open it up to the field. Uh, so you say we're going to go through a little bit of a slowdown at the end of the year until your Montana data center gets gets up and running again. And then we're going to be kind of, you know, scot-free again on the pool, go sell as much as we want. Give us a timetable on that. So um, I think the the growing pains will be into the new year because everybody's expecting Bitcoin to go to another level again. Um, and so the miners who manufacture the machines, they're, they're – um, they look at it two ways. Um, we give them Bitcoin as it's going up and they hold it till they give us our machines. Uh, we They give us the machines and now we're mining those Bitcoins that are very expensive. So it's a trade-off that these guys have to juggle. How much of that trade-off are they willing to take with us? The second thing is um, we have uh, how fast can they actually wrap up? We've told them that we can buy as much as they will make. Now, do they want to sell us that much? Uh, do they want us to be that big that fast? Um, they can't stop us buying from two places. So if you look at the whole network, it's like 8,000 petahash. And 80% of it's China or 85% of it's China. More than that or something like that. And um, we're about to have 1,200 petahash going into the new year. Even if the network grew another 2,000 petahash or 10,000 total, we would own more than 10% of the market. And that's just math. That's stats and statistics and luck. And um, as you look at today, at 400 petahash, we're running 4.7% of the market at 400. What is it going to be over 1,000? So what does that look for you and me? It looks like for you and me that when Bitcoin, you have 1,800 coins a day and Bitcoin goes from 17 to 25 to 50,000 per day and we go from five blocks a day to 10 to 15 blocks per day, it looks like our daily dividend goes exponential. It also looks like if our data center catches up to the market in the in the crypto space of altcoins, we will have the world's largest individually owned uh, GPU farm on the planet. Now, right now we're running about eleven terahash. We'll have twenty terahash by the first part of next year. This is all set on track, and it's in a in a facility that can that can that can sustain more than twenty terahash of equipment so we're terribly excited about this part of the market um i i personally am very bullish on the crypto space of all coins um i want you guys to do your own homework and understand that the more regulations bitcoin and other coins go to the more people will move their money into the coins that are anonymous monero and zcash these anonymous coins will find a market share that's that's going to be very valuable to you and I if you're mining it. Uh, those anonymous coins are over two to three hundred dollars right now. And they're only going to get stronger as more people become aware of the government trying to interact in this space. 
The Fed just did an announcement. You guys saw that. Um, they're, they're, they're afraid. This little $3 billion market is a half a billion to the, half a trillion, and it's going to go to a trillion and two trillion. And when it hits $3 trillion, either you and I got massively rich or you saw this thing and did not act upon it. You'll be just a customer and it's going to be okay. Because, you know, in this time frame that we have between 2017, the end of the year, and going into 2020, when, when Bitcoin halves one more time, you and I have nothing but two years plus to build a massive army to acquire enough equipment to mine yourself when Bitcoins go into the $100,000 a piece. And I tell people, if you knew that you can go into the future of Bitcoin mining and just get one Bitcoin every year or two that are worth a half a million, would you want to know how to do that? And everybody says, yes. How do I do that? And it's called joining Big Club Network. Because when Bitcoin goes into the next movement, I'm telling you guys, I was here and I was telling people, Bitcoin 10,000. And they were like, dude, Ricardo, you remember me telling you this. Bitcoin was in the 200s. And I saw the look on your face. You're <laughs> like, this guy is drinking some crazy Kool-Aid. And you, you don't want to have no Kool-Aid with me. Okay, and I remember doing what I did with you hundreds of times to to amazing people. And I remember looking at their faces when they looked at me and said, you're talking Bitcoin going 40 times more than it is today. I said, yeah, and, and, and beyond. <laughs> and, and me and Russ and the other partners would always say, one day we're going to hit the alarm when we wake up. We're going to look at the phone and the phone's going to say Bitcoin more than ten thousand dollars and when i look at that 16 or seventeen thousand, i'm here i arrived and um uh i can tell you guys you're gonna see bitcoin at twenty five thousand very soon you're gonna see bitcoin go to fifty thousand very soon now what is very soon to you what is very soon to me to me two years is gone already i'm already seeing the beach that I want to buy, the island that I want to buy. I'm already seeing, not the plane I'm going to fly, but the plane I own. Because one thing for sure in this industry right now, at the clip that you and I are at, we are going to create that 10,000 millionaires before 2020. I have over 200 people making more than a million per year. Now, we've created more than 200 millionaires. But I've got 200 people making a million a year. So a millionaire is nice. A million a year or more is nicer. And so when I have people who have no, I mean, no reason to be in an industry where these people are making a six-figure income, they're not cut out for that. They're not that good. Nobody I'm not judging. I'm just telling you, they were not set out for this. But given the time when Big Club Network was building its infrastructure, person to person, we had something very unique, time to give to people. And they would follow a leader and, and they would shadow that leader. And all of a sudden, they would become the leader of the leader. And that leader was created and we developed our own manage, our own team of people. We couldn't get the best recruiters, so we created amazing trainers and recruiters. We couldn't get the top, top earners, so we created the top earners. It's a different vehicle today. And you guys have a couple of years to take this serious. Russ will tell you, I will tell you, and these are the two faces you're going to see the big club on stage, anyone in the world. And you have two years. You have two years before the world adopts cryptocurrency in a whole. And it goes from half a billion, half a trillion dollars to a multi-trillion dollar market. 
And when that happens, it's over, guys. Ladies and gentlemen, either you got paid and you're going to get paid from the coins, the machines you own, or you're just going to be a nice bystander. You're going to be a guy or a gal who said, I remember that guy talking about that. I remember the rumors of Bitcoin going to 100 grand. I know it's possible, but I didn't do something. And you could only blame yourself, nobody else. We're here to give you the truth. We're here to tell you point blank. You got a couple of years to work this deal. Um, after that, we'll have merchant processing. We'll have uh, things like Treasure and, and other, other uh, Bitcoin wallets and, and technology and software. We will build a universal platform where people can take Bitcoin on a million websites. We will be the backbone to a lot of things. But in the meantime, we want to be the world's largest miners. And that's going to be with the help of you and I locking arms and locking belief. Belief is everything here. So take and get all the questions answered out of your head and then put your head on fire and watch people travel to see you. If you're excited enough, people will drive 100 miles to come and see you. They will hop on a plane to come and see you. I used to be the guy who ran two, three hours, six hours to do a meeting with a leader to try to get that person to join my network. I was the guy. Today, I only show up in a room where there's two or 300 people. That's not my choice. That's by, that's by a full vetted out process by my leadership. They will not call me unless a person has a million people in their network. They, but I'll go to the person who has mom and pop who wants to talk about this for reals. But I don't have time for everything no more. And so now I, I stay in my house when I'm in America and people come to me. Why? Because they leave excited. They hear about the excitement. They want to be part of the excitement. They want to be part of truth. They want to be part of facts. They want to know that they're, if they pass away, that somebody will take care of their children's account, that they'll help manage that, you know? And we have this ability to make sure that we're friends. And then their friends told our friends. So we have a very small circle of influence that's influenced by relationships. And online, Big Club Network works to an extent. On, like this. This works. But doing it without the human element, it's not going to work too good. People have tried. I hope somebody can figure it out because I would love to do push a button and get paid. I, I have not been able to do that for three and a half years. For three and a half years, I've had to do like what I'm doing, give you a little piece of me to take home with you. That's it. That's all I've been able to do. And with that grows a seed within you of belief. And if you take my belief a little bit, it'll grow. You only need a little bit of what I believe. Because if you do what I do, you would not even, you couldn't even sit in your seat. Okay. Um, I'm having a hard time not levitating right now. <laughs> Joe, that's really great, man. <clears throat> As you know, I'm fully in it and fully doing it because I get it. And that's what I preach all day long. Now, before I open it up to the rest of the crowd here on, on the on the interface, one more question. How would you structure the GPU pool? Someone comes in and say, you know, they want, you know, the five GPU pools, the $5,000 or a number of them. How would you structure that? I, I mean... No. Let, I mean, let me do is it, is it two hypotheticals. To buy five, is it better to get five and go mine different coins or one that mines the hottest coin of the day? Can you elaborate on that, please? Absolutely. So um, if you own a Bitcoin mining share, founder and above, you should own one or multiple GPUs. This is all depends on how you take your financial world serious. If you've done your history in uh, finance world, when they say, what is your net worth and how much of your net worth you're supposed to have in particular investment arms to make money. Um, when I tell somebody they should have at least two to 3% of their net worth making them money, they don't have a hard time calculating how many books you have and what they're worth behind you. You have to calculate the books behind you and the shelf that's on and the globe next to it. You have to put a price to that and there's a net worth attached to that. Because if you were to sell everything in an auction, you have to have a net worth number. 
then you should have a, you should have a net worth of your income multi diversifying. And the good thing about Big Club is we give you multiple diversifications. Bitcoin mining at the moment is the most profitable. I get it. It's exciting. You got to have it. No problem. Long term, double the lifespan GPU mining could potentially out earn anything we've ever done. Because you don't know when the next coin like Ethereum is going to pop up in the market and everybody wants it. You don't know that. But we do know one thing, that if you own a GPU today, you're mining it now, or at least 30 days from now. If we come out with a new coin in the next three to six months and you still don't own a GPU, and you have to wait 30 days when you buy it because now you're excited about it, that potential could be devastating to you. Because when we first got started in GPUs, we were mining Ethereum and Ethereum Classic. And we started mining those coins, and we were getting coins monthly. What's a coin worth today of Ethereum? $600. So when I was only making $10 a month a year ago, I was actually making $1,200 a month on $1,000. I was, I, was, I was literally getting all my money back every month, 100% ROI. Now, Today, much more difficult to mine Ethereum, one of the hottest coins on the market. Um, there's other coins out there who have likened themselves to Ethereum and uh, other things. They, one of them just got in trouble for, for putting itself next to Microsoft. They just um, they lost market share because they said they had a relationship, uh, contracts with Microsoft, and uh, they got in trouble for that. But um, we tell everybody, have some GPUs. How many should you have? How many can you afford to buy? Uh, there's no limit on what you can have. Uh, if you were going to go build a, build a farm um, to mine these coins, do you think you're going to spend five grand or 10 grand? That's not going to happen. You can't even buy a facility. You can't even rent a facility for 10, 20,000 a month. You can't rent a facility for, 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 for fractions of this conversation in your head. Fortunately for us, we've done this part for you. We've set a plan for you where you only have to put up a certain amount of money to get crypto every day. And so I always say, what can you do? Buy a, a binding contract for sure. And then if you can buy multiple, buy multiples. But if you can't, buy GPUs. When all else fails, a GPU account will make you a beautiful dividend annually that's going to change your world, okay? Plus, it's in the business. You make binary commissions. You make a direct sale. You make a check match on the activity that you're doing. So um, there's no current repurchase yet because we haven't figured out a way to do that, okay? The math behind that one is another algorithm that we've not figured out yet, how to create a repurchase on multiple coins with multiple GPUs. But it's probably coming around the corner soon because people have said, why don't you charge me just a little bit more? Charge me just a little bit more and give me a repurchase because I want to have thousands upon thousands of days of earnings rather than just having a flat five and a half years. And so um, we, we are working on stuff for that right now. So just stand by. We've always under-promised and over-delivered, okay? But GPUs, please, don't neglect the GPUs. You'll regret it, I promise. You'll regret it only because many people have. I have. I wish I would have did so much more the first time they gave us a chance to get some. I literally didn't see the vision in it. I actually hated altcoins. I always said, an altcoin is trying to get my Bitcoins. I, I'm the guy that says that. That someone's trying to take my Bitcoins by me buying another coin because the only way for me to buy another altcoin is to give all my Bitcoins, potentially giving away my future value of that coin or the buying power that the Bitcoin gives me when I buy machines because I can't use other coins to buy the machine. I got to convert it to Bitcoin. Now, our vendors are pretty smart and they've started accepting a couple other coins like Bitcoin Cash. They'll take Bitcoin Cash. And uh, I think they just said that they'll take Bitcoin Gold also. But that's it. 
Um, they're not going to take any other coins. They're going to make you come. Strong in Bitcoin. I'm a long-term Bitcoin guy. Um, I am big on mining. I am all about the mining. I think the mining um, has done our members so well that when people take out their dividends and spend it before the coin matures, I feel so sorry for them today. I feel so bad when I look at a person's account. They're 70 years old. They were told about 16 different scams, and they found their BitClub Network account after they took out the first two years of the Bitcoins. And they forgot they owned the coin, the, the account. They call me uh, a year after they've already taken all the Bitcoins out, and it still has money in it. And when I tell them that you actually took out nine Bitcoins, times today's price, they look at me like, are you serious? I'm saying, your earnings don't lie. We give you a historical data track record of every earning you get. And it's right here. You've taken out nine Bitcoins. Fortunately for you, there's two left. But you've taken out nine. And they're looking at themselves and thinking, how did 3600 turn into 150000 I said, the same way you spent $300 a month that we were paying you, is the same way that 300 turned into 3,000. And they're like <laughs> scratching their heads. <laughs> and, I, and I said, it's not too late. You can still come back in and get started all over again. And maybe this time you'll tell somebody and you won't go into the, uh, into the, uh, into the uh, um, witness, witness protection program, you know? And these people joined us early on. It's funny that we had 500 people, 500 account founders join us. And they're called the original 1% founders. They get 1% of the Bitcoin mine every month. In the last 30 months, that has been more than a Bitcoin dividend paid out to those people. That's an additional $17,000. It's actually 20 grand. But $20,000 paid on top of your Bitcoin mining earnings because you were the first 500. I always have people ask me, can I buy one of those 500s? I said, if somebody decides to sell a 500 for a 501, I will buy it myself. Okay. Um, because there's so much valuable in the future because they get paid for life. For the life of Big Club, you will make 1% of the mining pool. I can't wait till next month or two months from now to see what the dividends are going to look like. 1% of making, you know, an additional 30, 40, 50, 60, 80 million dollars or 100 million dollars. That's a nice dividend for 500 people split out every month. So um, anything else, Ricardo? Yes, sound great, Joe. I'm just going to open it up to the rest of the crowd. Do you have, if you guys have a question, you have a little microphone on the left-hand side, the bottom of your screen. I click that so the red dash goes dash away. Goes. I'm on a conference call. I, I have a question. Go ahead. I have a twofold question. Um, Joe, thanks so much for filling us in. It's been great and a uh, very great learning experience. You mentioned about Genesis. You guys are partners. Why would somebody join Big Club over Genesis? I have a two-part question. So if you can answer that one sure. first. Sure. What is That's easy. Saying? It's very easy. Genesis Mining has a 1% one, one, one to 2% referral. They don't pay you past a uh, pool. They pay you for a contract and a time. So with Genesis, you're going to buy a hash rate. And when the hash rate exceeds the, 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 the earnings, your income starts going down. And it'll go down to zero. And you won't break even. Nobody breaks even in Genesis Mining unless they caught a wave. Everybody um, has to rebuy in. And no one can build a network with Genesis Mining either. And um, I own a contract with Genesis Mining. I haven't looked at it in I don't know how long. I know for a fact, dollar for dollar, my Big Club network has paid me three times more money. Three times. And uh, um, I encourage people, if you, if you want to diversify, go buy one of those and buy one of ours. And let's talk about it in a couple of years. Because yours is going to expire. Mine's going to keep paying me. You know? Sure. The other, the other, the other question I have, I have a whole bunch of questions, but I'm just going to limit it so everybody else has an opportunity. CoinPay, how do we take advantage of that when it's launched? When it's launched, you're going to know. <laughs> We're going to have tutorials and videos, and 
we'll, we'll have the tools for you. Okay. Um, we're actually probably creating a certification training for that. Uh, we don't want um, every Tom, Dick, and Harry just to go out there and tell everybody about it, bombing on people, ruin opportunities with merchants. We want people to know what to say, when to say it, how to say it. And uh, they'll be full trained on that. That's, that, that's a multi-billion dollar company in the making. And so we're going to spend millions of dollars to make sure it launches correctly. And that's scheduled to be launched when? Early 2018. Perfect. Thank you. This, is, this has been a, a beautiful uh, time waiting for it. But we didn't want to pre-launch anything without being, I mean, listen, what good is it that you can take cryptocurrency when nobody knows about it yet? Now that people know about it, they're going to want to get in it and they're going to want to use some of it someplace. We're going to have the option for that. Nobody else has an option for that. We do. Awesome. Hey, Joe. This is Jeannie from Hawaii. Hawaii. What's up? <laughs> Can't wait to I, come out there. Um, yeah, and you're welcome to. And I'm going to be one of those stories on your list. I love it. I love it. At, at the next convention or whatever we have. Um, cool. I have any questions too, but I'm going to limit it to a few. Um, the club coin, can you explain the club coin and if you plan on going public? Club coin is public. Club oh. coin is, you mean coin pay? Or no, club, no coin? club coin. Club coin has been in the open market for two years. It's a half, it's about a $400 million market cap that we gave away for free. Um, th this is a, this is something I didn't touch on. Big Club Network hasn't even taken in a billion dollars yet. But we paid out more than $2 billion in revenue and crypto. <laughs> Clubcoin is a coin that we gave away for free. You can still buy it in the open market right now for like $3, $4. And it, when CoinPay launches, Clubcoin will have a, 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 a platform to be launched with. Uh, BitClub Network will also be taking Clubcoin as a coin to purchase BitClub Network shares. Um, you can do it internally but you can't do it externally yet till next month. Okay. But, so uh, I was referring to the company going public instead of a privately held. Oh, you mean Big Club? Yes. Club Coin and Big Club are two different entities. Yes. Club Coin is a decentralized coin. Big Club is a decentralized platform for Bitcoin mining and security. Um, Big Club was going to go through a team of people uh, to do, to do uh, a public uh, offering. And what ended up happening was um, the, the person died. Um, I don't mean to laugh, but I'm actually happy that it didn't happen. I'm happy that uh, God, chose, God told to take him home. <laughs> but um, they, were, they were spending $300,000 out of their own pocket to see if they can take Bitcoin Network public. We are a Goliath in the industry of profitability, and there's there's no company that would like would not want to buy us out there. None. A sales force in the hundreds of thousands around the world. Uh, distribution, um, potentially to reach millions. Um, they would give us a ten a ten to one on our earnings, and yes, you and I would get a nice fat check, but the opportunity would be over with. They would create salespeople. They would create different things. And I wasn't for that. And since I'm about 90%, 87% of the of all the sales and Bitcoin network on mine, I would be the one rallying to say no when it came to vote for it. I don't want to sell my opportunity right now. I'm not interested in that. I like your vision. I'm, I'm in line with that big time. Um, how many customers do we have? Good question. Um, we know we, have around, we know we have around 270,000 live humans. We don't know exactly who owns what because that part is anonymous. That part is mm -hmm. uh, part of the database that we don't track. Um, but um, we're under, under 750 million worth of assets under management and growing. Um, we are now doing... The last 30 days, over 202 million in sales. When it took us two years to do 100 million, now we're now we're doing 100 million a month, and the last 30 days over 200 million. So, um, 
with the new uh, division umbrella of Big Club Network, we will actually have human beings, humanoids in your back office. Um, you won't be able to say where they're from. Maybe they'll have a flag on there. Uh, if they're choosing, we're going to let people put their own flag there. Um, we don't know too much of that. We don't want to be, we don't want to be police here. We don't want to be the guys um, uh, responsible for you from running from any government or entities. We want to be the company that just is transparent on the mining side. We want to, we want to let you be your own, your own boss. Um, if there's things we can do to help you, we'll do so. Um, our management team that's coming on board is one of the most efficient and effective teams I've ever seen in my life. And um, within 90 days, Big Club Network will have some pretty big changes for the better. Anything else? One, just one last thing. We have us that are out there in the field keep finding people that um, mostly Forex and trading companies that um, are now getting into mining. Can you give us <laughs> easy version that every single one of us on this line can say to yeah tell them to go to blockchain.info forward slash pull <laughs> etherscan.io forward slash pull and tell them show me where you're at and they can they cannot prove it tell them don't show me one of the big club networks pools don't show me <laughs> one of our facilities because some company just showed our physical facility in a video they literally put three seconds of him doing a screenshot in our facility. In our, I mean, the blatant lies these companies are doing out there. Um, USI Tech just got blasted for lying about uh, buying seventy million worth of uh, equipment from Genesis uh, from Big Fury. They uh, they tried to start a rumor that they were working with Genesis Mining. Not possible. Um, and now they're just making up stories. Now <laughs> they're just making up stories. I watched. I watched these interviews, and these guys are talking on the side of their neck. Their mouth is moving, but I'm not hearing the truth. So I know for a fact they're lying. We know the industry. We can verify if anybody is actually mining. We know the people in charge of all the equipment, of all the pools. All we have to do is say, "Hey." Are these guys mining? Hey, are these guys mining? And the answer is always no. The answer is no. They're not mining. And even if they were mining, there's no way in earth they can even pay a dollar a day, let alone a dollar a week, for the small amount of machines they own. Even if they did, grab a few million bucks worth, 10 million, it's nothing in this space. 50 million, 100 million, is barely enough to pay dividends to thousands of people. Okay? So, they're lying. Anybody else? <coughs> hey, Joe. Yeah, there, is, there is a prominent company out there. It's called IML. They seem to be very reputable in the Forex trading type of space. Yep. They, they're they going to be mining. Do you know anything about that? Nope. No? I know that they don't own... Any 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 machines significant enough to prove that they're mining? They can say all they want and put a. I saw one of the mining things. They had a closet, one closet full of machines, and they said we're mining. Well, they're not lying. They have a closet full of machines. They don't have a warehouse, a compound. They're not on the blockchain of any sort. So if somebody wants to take that risk, go ahead. You're uneducated on where you should be putting your money at. I know that most of these companies have played with the Bitcoin price. That's what keeps them in business. Big Club Network has people around the world begging Bitcoin to get cut in half. You know what happens if Bitcoin goes to 10000 again? Well, All the scams go away really fast. All the scams will go away almost overnight sustainability will no longer be the option for them because they will lose a 50% network effect on their coin. And they cannot pay a dividend on something they don't have no more. They can't trade 100% of what they're doing monthly just to make it back. So they're going to go out of business. They're going to say they got hacked and they have no more coins or whatever the case may be. 
and they're going to go out of business. That's going to happen. We're hoping that Bitcoin goes down to 10, 12 grand. Begging, actually, because we get paid in Bitcoin. We mine Bitcoin at the precious time of 12.5 Bitcoins per 10-minute window. Now, when Bitcoins are 6.25 in two and a half years from now, there probably won't be any scams no more. They won't be able to lie no more. It's not going to be even an option for that no more. They're going to have to create a different kind of pyramid Ponzi, some juice program or something. <laughs> Anyone else has any questions, guys? I do. I do. Hi, Joe. This is Capoeira. We met in Iceland. We did. Kenya, how are you? I see your little machine you got next to you. Hey, absolutely. I, I, I show this in my webinars. I show it to everyone who uh, I get to present to. And, and you know, like Joe said, Iceland, sorry, my phone is going off. Uh, I mean, our facility is ginormous, guys. It's huge. And uh, I mean, we're doing real mining and as opposed to these are the companies saying that they are doing mining. And like Joe says, you know, they have closets or they probably just have, you know, a small facility that could not rival ours. So we're in a great company. I've been part of Big Club for well over a year now and the returns are great. And, you know, the people Joe is talking about making millions in Iceland, I got to make friends with many of them. And guys, if we continue pounding the pavement in this business, we'll absolutely get there. So absolutely. let's let's keep doing it. Yeah, absolutely. So I'll, I'll call you sometime. And I, I I'll be telling you, I'll be, I've been telling you that I'll call you, but. Okay. Are you in America still? No, I'm actually in Atlanta. I'm still in Atlanta. Okay. So yeah. I'll be in California the 17th. I'm doing a handful of fly-ins before the end of the year to close the year out. Just let's catch up, okay? Okay. Awesome. Good right, to see cheers. you. Thank, Thank you for you, that. Man. That was great. Uh, anyone else has any questions, guys? When's the next time we can take the tour? Yeah. Ah, good question. I think the the facility in Montana might be the, the next tour we take. Montana. That might be the next one. Now, again, undisclosed area, very little information, <laughs> but actually happening. <laughs> um. That might be the next facility we tour. We just got to see what the security level is going to be like, and what they're, um, uh, what they're going to want from us. But um, they're terribly excited to have us there because uh, someone that can sustain and regenerate a area of Montana that's been closed uh, by the government for over twenty years, when it was a copper melting place at one time, and uh, so it's been closed down environmentally uh, unsafe. The government paid for the land to be uh, redone. And so now it's thumbs up, ready to go. It's a full-blown power facility that can double its capacity within a year. And we're excited about that. So Iceland might not be the next option. It might be, it might be Montana. But we'll keep you guys posted at least a month or two in advance. Uh, till then, uh, work like there's no tomorrow. Literally, uh, what would you do if this is your last day and you, you needed to leave some money for somebody? What would you do? That's exactly what we're going to be doing. Uh, anyway, um, we're going to leave it at that, guys. We've been going for an hour and a half. Joe, thank you so much. We really appreciate Absolutely. it. And if you guys have any questions that come to mind, you know where to find us. Uh, uh, we're going to say good night now and good day for uh, uh, Joe because he's in the Philippines. It's uh, what, uh, 12 o'clock? 12 o'clock. No? Yep. Okay. okay. Again, thank All you right. so much. Good night, thank everyone. Bye-bye.